Kanye West is having another egotistical breakdown. Fuck all that mental breakdown shit. Fuck all that is manic episode shit. Kanye West is having an ego breakdown. That's just the truth. And he went on Drink Champs recently. And on the episode of Drink Champs, he basically told all the street rappers he's been beefing with. No, he literally told them to come do to him what he's been what they've been talking about in all their songs. Come shoot him. Come kill him. This is coming from Kanye's own mouth. Let's look. You can't poison me. And by the way. Y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public. And I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be able to do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. You can't. Yeah, so Kanye curses out Meek Mill. He curses out Diddy. He curses out all of these dudes that have been having issues with him over his White Lives Matter shirt. Because none of them stuck up for him when the Kardashians took his kids. Let's let's address something first and foremost. Kanye, you're a very influential man. If you wanted to, you could start a campaign to protect men's rights in child custody court. You've never done that, ever. You've never taken the power, the money, the influence, none of the things that you got, You've never taken any of that and put that energy toward anything positive in the legal system. You went and did that bullshit thing with Drake where you went over there and tried to get Larry Hoover freed from prison, a nigga who earned his spot in prison. You didn't put a, a concert together for fathers struggling to get their children away from mothers who won't let them see their children. You instead went and did a little concert. Well, not a little because it was Kanye and Drake. It was massive. You went and did a concert with Drake for Larry Hoover. Yay, the black community does not owe you any sort of support in, in terms of your familial issues. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes, uh, nor do any of these rappers. Nigga, they don't know what's going on between you and Kim. They don't know if you're the one in the right or you're the one in the wrong. Why would they get involved in your family business? You're not coming out for anybody else. Now, it'd be a different story if Kanye was doing campaigns for men's rights and men's child custody rights i'd say damn you know what kanye deserves our unbridled attention and support but he's never done that ever now i'm also going to take a chance to defend kanye all y'all niggas going on and on about white lives matter shirt is bullshit the white lives matter shirt is fucked up blah 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 Y'all been saying stupid shit like, Kanye West is hurting our people. Kanye West is hurting black people. Oh my God. Y'all gotta stop that. Stop. Stop. Put a pause on that. Because all these people talking about Kanye West hates his own race. Kanye West hates his own people. All this bullshit coming from Boosie and Meek. Y'all the two niggas that done spent your whole rap careers promoting death and violence in the black community. So how can y'all sit there and promote death and violence in the black community for years upon years and rap about poisonous shit and then turn around and talk about Kanye West hurting the black community with his comments? Make that make sense. How is it that Kanye's comments are hurtful, but your behavior, the music you rap about, the imagery you rap about, the lifestyle you promote, none of these things are dangerous, especially when it comes to Boosie, because Boosie is extremely hypocritical on this. Boosie, you criticize Lil Nas X for promoting homosexuality to the youth, and yet you've yet to criticize any of these street rappers for promoting drugs, guns, self-inflicted genocide to the youth. Come on now, Meek, same thing with Meek. You've been rapping about the streets for about 10 years, bro. More than 10 years, actually. You've been rapping about the streets for a long time. How can y'all be mad about Kanye harming the black community when y'all have an entire 
illustrious career of harming the black community. Lil Boosie had a long street career, a real street career where people lost their lives. How can you have that kind of lifestyle and then turn around and talk about Kanye harming the community and you still have yet to criticize any of the modern day street rappers that are currently in the game? Make it make sense. Now, Kanye went on to tell all of these dudes mad at him to come kill him, to come put hands on him, to come touch him, to come try him. He literally said, literally says this, let's watch. Run up on me, no. I, want, I want y'all to come kill me, no. I want you to smack me, no. I want you to do all the shit you rap about. Oh, oh my God. All the shit you rap about. I want to shit you rap about. I want you to come do it now. Come down to this joint right now, really please, nigga. please. Oh Otherwise, shut the fuck up. Unless you was there when the Kardashians kidnapped my kids. Run up on me. Now Kanye knows ain't nobody gonna touch him. Let's just keep it a stack. Kanye knows Diddy's not gonna touch him. I mean, look, nigga, you came on Drink Champs. You're on Diddy's show, cussing out Diddy, which is crazy. You didn't get touched there. Diddy's not gonna touch. Well, Diddy has attempt. Diddy allegedly attacked Drake physically, but still, like no one's gonna, no one's killing Kanye. No, nobody in the music industry by the name of Diddy, Meek, any of these rappers are gonna harm Ye. But this is all coming from Ye's hurt ego. It's coming from Ye's hurt ego. Two things are true here. These rappers are hypocritical for being mad at Ye and his quote unquote harmful comments to the black community. They're hypocritical about that. And Ye is also egotistical in the sense of how can you demand that these guys come and interfere in your personal life? How can you be mad at that? You're sitting there saying, hey, you're mad at my shirt, but you're not mad that I can't see my kids. Ye, your shirt is public. Your family dealings are private. Your shirt, you're, you're spreading a message for better or for worse. I support Kanye's White Lives Matter shirt. I couldn't care less about the White Lives Matter movement, but I support his right to say that White Lives Matter. I believe White Lives Matter. Don't got an issue with it. However, Kanye's got to understand, nigga, you're not God. Like, you cannot demand that people stay silent about your shirt simply because it didn't defend you with your family court shit. When have you ever defended anybody in terms of family court? When have you ever used your power, your influence, your respect to change the way that men are treated in family courts? You've never done it. Furthermore, Kanye, you've been acting crazy for years. It's no surprise to me that you struggle with, with custody, dog. It's no surprise to me. Look at your behavior. Look at what you're doing. How could any, like, bro, it, 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 it makes sense to me as to why people feel un, uh, uncomfortable or queasy talking about your personal life as it pertains to Kim Kardashian and them. Look at you. Look at the way you're acting. Is it any surprise to you? Or is it any surprise to any of you guys watching this video right now? Is it any surprise to you watching this? You, that Kanye struggling to get custody of his kids? Look at his behavior, bro. If it, look. Kanye's got massive amounts of grace. If any other person was acting the way Kanye was, there would be a restraining order filed. They would be in jail. Kanye's gotten a lot of leeway and he doesn't see it or recognize or appreciate it. Kanye, you gotta understand that your White Lives Matter shirt was a public political statement and people are gonna critique that. Do I think Kanye was wrong for putting that shirt up? Nah, not really, I don't really care. But it's like, nigga, you can't sit there and freak out on these niggas for being upset with you when nigga you put this out it's public it's political you knew what you were doing and you did it with candace owens you know what you're doing you know you can't run away from criticism simply because they didn't defend you in terms of the kardashians and your kids when have you ever defended anybody in terms of their kids when have you ever done that it's the ego that's just taking over this man's mind and he's going on and making more disrespectful comments about other communities, talking crazy. Kanye's ego is killing him. Y'all can blame it on bipolar. Y'all can blame it on anything. It's the ego, bro. So I think two things can be true here. I don't think the hip hop community is fair in critiquing Kanye for the shirt simply because, now I believe they have the right to critique him, but 
The critique runs hollow to me because y'all sat by and signed these destructive rappers to million dollar deals for the last 20 to 30 years. Now y'all care about the black community when Kanye wears a White Lives Matter shirt? Come on now. I don't necessarily have a problem with Kanye's White Lives Matter shirt. I don't. The rap community, y'all spent the last 30 years funding rappers who promoted self-inflicted genocide, gangsterism, violence drug use drug drug selling all of that now y'all want to now y'all want to critique somebody because of how they're affecting the black community what about what y'all been doing for the last 30 years y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all aren't absent y'all y'all can't be absent from accountability no so it's just funny to me how they want to gang up on kanye over the white lives matter shirt but it's be but abstain themselves of any sort of responsibility for how they impact the black community two things can be true kanye you got to accept the fact that they're gonna critique your shirt. You put it out publicly. Like you, you, you're not absolved from criticism simply because they didn't defend you in your little child court thing. But the hip hop community is extremely hypocritical because y'all promoted destructive shit to the black community. Y'all spent the last thirty years harming the black community for your own financial and social gain. Now you want to lecture yay? Seems a bit bullshit to me. I ain't gonna lie. That's just my opinion. It is what it is. Kanye's losing his fucking mind, though. Let's just tell the truth. Kanye's losing his mind. Diddy's hypocritical. Meek is hypocritical. Boosie's hypocritical. It's just all one big shit show. Let's just tell the truth. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.